Hi there, and welcome to my new series featuring Digicam, which is a sophisticated photo management system uh, that's really been indispensable for me over the last few years. Just to tell you my own history with this software, uh, I started using it about five years ago when I needed to upgrade from Lightroom, but I didn't want to start paying Adobe every month just for the privilege. Digicam is, of course, free and open source software like the other software apps featured on this channel. It doesn't edit raw files directly like Lightroom, but it does have many of the same photo management features that I used to use. I can use it to import and export my photos and keep them sorted in a way that makes sense to me. I'm really surprised that there aren't more community created resources for the software, and I can't imagine getting along without it anymore. In this first episode, I'm gonna show you just a basic overview of how I use Digicam and what tweaks I've made to the interface, and then just some of its basic functions that you might find useful. After this episode, I'm going to completely uninstall it from my computer, and I will reinstall it in my next episode, and I'll show you what it looks like from its default state, how to set up your databases, and actually get started using Digicam. But before we do that, let's take a look at Digicam itself. I've configured this top menu to have a lot of the same features that I use the most. The Batch Queue Manager is an interesting feature that we'll take some time looking at. Just like the name implies, you go here to perform the same tasks to a group of photos. I use it mostly to resize or change formats, but there are many other options as well. You can import directly from a card or your camera. You can view your photos in either the thumbnail or preview mode. I don't use a table view very much. There's also a full screen button that I, I like to keep right here. These are the services I use the most often, Flickr, Google services, and Dropbox, um, but, there are many other the, but there are many others that you can choose from as well. Um, or you can just export directly to somewhere else on your computer. Um, we'll get into tags at some point, but I like to use this to assign tags and edit the geolocation if you don't have, already have it on a photo. And then I also use a print creator to create a proof sheet of a group of images um, if I happen to need one. So that's the top menu here. Let's take a look at this left side menu. The, the tab I use most often is albums. And you can think of that like the folders in your uh, computer hierarchy. I don't use this tags tab very much. I don't use the tags tab very much. Digicam lets you tag your images with different rating systems and the tags view is where you can go to see them. Uh, for example, I use an orange color tag to show which, which images will go to Flickr. I'll use red for something different. I don't use the star system very much, but I will use the, um, when I'm culling my images, I will use the flag system for either accepted, pending, or rejected. Later on, we'll show you how to filter those out. Viewing by dates is also really handy. I can go back to a certain month and year and find any images that I might have taken back then. For example, which pictures were I taking in July of 2021? And those images are all right here. I don't use the rest of these tabs very much. There is a face recognition feature that's available. I don't know how it works and I don't use it. The right side menu will show you information for an individual photograph. You can see properties and metadata, and there's a histogram, but I don't use it very much. I tend to use the ones in GIMP or in raw therapy for what I need. There's a map view that works. By far, the one that I use the most is captions. And this is where you go to enter your title and descriptions and then any rating or color labels you might be using. You can also assign descriptor tags here as well. And these can all be assigned to a group of photos simultaneously, so you don't have to do them one by one. Another tab I use here is the filters tab. Clear down here. And that lets you, that lets you filter by tags or by a certain type. For example, you can look just at your raw files or just your JPEGs, or only those pictures with a specific label or tag. And finally, the Tools tab has some features that are found in the upper menu at the top of the screen. They're just a little easier to find here. So that's a very basic overview of 
Digicam. In our next episode, we'll start it up from scratch and I'll show you how to get started with it and set it up in a way that makes sense for how you work. Also, you might notice that this series uses a different format. I'm using my real voice rather than a canned text-to-speech computer-generated speech. We'll see how it works. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.